Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a car rental website using Wix. The first thing you want to do is go onto Wix.com and the reason why I would recommend Wix is you can get started for completely free and it does not require a credit card to sign up and you'll be able to create unlimited websites and it will also host your website for you for completely free. So go on to Wix, then you're going to tap on Get Started. Once you have selected Get Started, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you'll enter your email address. Then you'll enter your email address again. And you're going to create a password. Or you could continue with your Google account or with your Facebook account. After doing that, you will be redirected to this page. And after selecting create new site, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And on the search bar, I want you to type in car rental. And you are going to select right where you see car rental company. You are going to tap on that. Then you are going to tap on continue. After selecting continue, you will see numerous options, different templates that you can choose from. So you can scroll down until you see a template of your liking. As you can see right here, there are numerous templates you can choose from. So for this example, I'll select this one right here that says RV rentals. I'll tap on continue with this template. After selecting continue, you can pick the default theme. So you can scroll down and you can select the color that you would like the theme to be. So, for example, if you want it to be technical, you could tap on this. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on Save and Continue. After selecting Save and Continue, you'll see lastly, Add Apps to your site. You can always add, remove, or customize site features. For example, you'd like customers to book, so yes. You can also add blogs if you want. And you can also add a pricing plan. So I'll select pricing plan. And you can scroll down if you want to sell products. You could tap on that. Also, if you want to create events or sell tickets, you could do that also. And you can scroll down. And of course, we are going to select forms and payments. As we are going to be accepting payments on our site. And you could also add an Instagram feed. As this will able to engage your customers you can scroll down and if you would like to add a chat we can also do that as that's a good sign of customer care then you'll scroll down and you're going to tap on go to dashboard and just give it a few seconds to load up as Wix is preparing our new website template for us to start editing Once it is finished, you'll be redirected to this page. And the first thing I want you to do is go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to tap on design site. After selecting design site, you will be redirected to this page. Just give it a few seconds to load up. And as you can see, it is finished loaded up. And what I want you to do is go over to the left and menu option and you can see each menu option right here. The first thing I want you to do is scroll up. And from here, if you would like to change the text at the moment, you can see that it is saying RV rentals. So I'll tap on that as I'm not renting RVs, I'll be renting cars. So from here, I can change the RV. So you'll tap right where you see edit text. And you could change that. So let me change it real quick. So I'll select car rentals as that's what I will be renting. Car rentals. And instead of California, I'll be renting it in Maypen. Then you can also change the size of the font if you want. And you can also change the font style right where you see fonts. I could tap on that. And if I want to use a different font style, I could select a different font style as you can see right there. And I can also change the size of the font by pulling along the slider right here. 
all you have to do is highlight the font that you would like to change. Once you have highlighted the font, you'll simply pull along the slider as you can see the size is increasing. As you can see right there, or if I were to glide it back to the left, you can see that it is decreasing. And as I said to change the fonts, all you have to do is tap on the current font. Then you can change the font style. As you can see right there, that's how to change the font style. Also, if you would like to add a link, once you have highlighted the text, you are going to tap on the link item and you'll be able to add a link if you want. After doing this, we are going to go over to the top left hand corner. And from here, I'll delete this section right here as I don't want to add that section so I can delete this section right here. You will see the option quick edit. After selecting quick edit, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, if you would like to change the name, right where you see paragraph, you could change the name or you can delete it if you want. So I'll change the name at the moment and put simple answers. Then right here, that says RV rentals. I'm going to change that to car rental, as you can see right there. And also you could add a vector image, for example, a logo or so if you wanted right there. And once you are finished, you could scroll down and you can see also the availability button. You can add, you can leave that as is, as we want that to stay. Then we'll simply tap on the X to close out. And also what you can do, you can scroll down and you can change the background image if you want. To change the background image is quite easy. All you have to do is tap on the current background. And by the way, you can do this with whichever section. All you have to do is tap on the current background image. Then you'll see the option change strip background. And then from here, you will see the different background images you can choose from. Or if you wanted to use a video in your background, you could select that. But one word of advice that I would give you don't select a video as that will make your website load even slower. So for example, you could select image and you could upload a background. Or for this example, I could select this image right here. This one right here, the citrus fruit if I wanted, or I could select the one below it, this one. And this is just a rough example. After I've selected the image, I could tap on X to close out. And I can scroll down and you can see how it looks at the moment. And also to add a page or to add an element, all you have to do is go over to the left and menu option and you will tap on add elements. And in this section, you will see numerous options. So let's say, for example, you wanted to add an image, you would select image, then tap on upload and import and you'll be able to add the image. And now if you wanted to add a button, you could tap on button. And as you can see right here, there are numerous button options you can choose from. And for example, if you wanted to add a PayPal button, all you had to do was select PayPal buttons. Then you'll be able to add a PayPal button and you will also be able to add your PayPal email. So once someone taps on that PayPal button, they'll be able to pay you via PayPal. And you can see there are numerous options, different things you can add if you would like to add a different type of box. You can also add galleries. If you'd like to change the menu option, you can do that. Also, you can see contact forms if you would like to add contact forms. Or if you would like to add an order form, you can do that. A registration form, donation form, a feedback form. You can also add that to your Wix website as you can see right here. There are numerous options you can use. And as I said earlier, you can scroll down and right where you see payment, you'll be able to add PayPal button or so on. If you would like to add your social media link, you can do that by selecting social and you can select the social media that you would like to add or you can add the social bar. And by the way, if you want to add a page, you can do that also by going over to the left and menu option and selecting pages and menu. After selecting pages and menu, you could tap on add page 
and you'll be able to add a page also if you would like to remove a page let's say for example i want to delete one of these pages all i have to do is tap on the three dots beside the page that i would like to delete then i'll select delete as you can see right here then tap on delete and that's how to delete a page also if you would like to move a page for example let's say i want to move the rv pages down and i want to set a next page to be right beside home on my main page let's say for example book online all you have to do is drag that particular page that you would like to move up so you can tap on it and you can drag it straight up to the top let me do that real quick you can see it right here and you can see on the menu option right here the navigation bar that book online is now ahead of rvs and also if you would like to remove rvs overall you can by simply tapping on the three dots and you could select delete or if you wanted to remove it from the navigation bar you could select hide and that would hide it from the main navigation bar as you can see right there so the pages will still be on the website but it will have it would have been hidden and again if you want to add a page you can simply tap on add page once you have done all of this and it is to your liking what you are going to do next is go over to the top right hand corner and from here you are going to select publish and after you have selected publish you will now see your new website and you will also be able to select the domain name as you can see right here this is my domain name at the moment if you want to change your domain name you can do that quite easily all you have to do is go over to the left and menu option and once on the left and menu option you are going to see site you are going to scroll down and from here you are going to select my dashboard once you have selected my dashboard you will be redirected to the dashboard page just give it a few seconds Once on the dashboard page, you can see right here, enter the web address you want for your site. It can be a domain, so if you want to add a new domain, you could add a custom domain name right here. Also, to change the domain name, as I said earlier, if you wanted to change your domain name, you can do that by tapping on edit site right here. But at the moment, you can stick with the free Wix domain. And also, if in the future you want to offer gift cards or so on, for example, in the peak season like in Christmas or so on, you can go over to the left and menu option and you could select gift card. And from here, you'll be able to create gift cards. So you could tap on add gift card to your site and you'll be able to add a gift card. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.